Hey guys, welcome back and in today's video, I'll show you how to generate MPG pages using Elementor. We'll start from the WordPress dashboard and we already have Elementor installed as well as MPG. Let's go ahead and create an MPG template. So I'll go to pages, just hover and I'll click on add new. And once we're in the WordPress editor, I'll call this page MPG template. And once we're done, we can click edit with Elementor. Once we're in the Elementor editor, we can drag this text widget to this space right here. And now we just need to remove this paragraph. So I'll just highlight and delete it. We can now add our MPG information. So let's first go to this source file, which is a spreadsheet. We have the name of the columns at the top. These will be used in the short codes. And then we have the rest of the information at the bottom. So basically this will give us about two pages. So we'll go back and we'll start formatting our template. So I'll use the first short code, which will be MPG underscore name. And that's enclosed by two curly brackets on each side. And I'll continue adding the rest of the short codes. So MPG name bought MPG food on MPG day. So these short codes will be replaced dynamically with the data from our source file. Once we're done, we can go ahead and click on publish. Okay, now I'll click on the menu icon and I'll click exit. We can now go to MPG to create a new project. Let's start from scratch. And we'll give our project a name. Let's call it food. For the entity type, let's make it pages. Now we need to find our templates. So I'll click on this and I'll search for MPG template. We can exclude this template from crawlers and site loops and participate in the search and save changes. I'll check the second box again and click on save changes one more time. And that was a success. So we can now go ahead and add our source file. So we need to go back to the spreadsheet and we need to make sure we don't copy this link. We need to go to share and click on copy link. Just make sure viewers have access. Now we need to go back and paste the URL in this field. We don't need a worksheet ID and we can also keep the periodicity live. Let's click on fetch and use and that should pull the data from the source. We can see a preview down here if we scroll. If you want to change your URL structure, you can do this at the bottom. We don't need to do this. We can see a preview of our URL here. It's fine, so we can save our changes. Okay, so that's it. Now we can click on see all URLs. All right, so we have two pages here, which we can go ahead and view. So here it says Amy bought pizza on Saturday. So these are very simple examples, but in your case, you can make it as complex as you want. We just wanna show you that MPG pages can also be generated using Elementor. So I really hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.